the only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Hello, YouTube. Uh, y'all need to listen to this little clip uh, that's going to be behind this picture that you see here. Uh, you also need to act, look up the act of uh, 1871 for yourself or for your own research to show you why these people can do what they want to do. And they've implemented, they've put it in action over the last few years, slowly. But they're not doing it slow no more because they got enough laws to do whatever they want to. And as long as you people keep sleeping and not paying attention to the Act of 1871, we're all doomed in this country. So much love, heads up, and try to get the word out if you can. In the details of a disturbing new U.S. government law. If you're retired or close to retirement as I am, this law could have a devastating impact on your health, your business if you have one, your retirement income, even how and where you travel. Take a look at this. The Wall Street Journal calls it America's biggest transformation in decades. The law reshapes one-sixth of the U.S. economy. Journalist Mark Stain, who writes for the Atlantic Monthly and National Review, says, the law redefines the relationship between the citizen and the state in fundamental ways. Nobody has ever attempted something like this from an advanced society of 300 million people. You may have seen experts discuss parts of this law on TV. You may have read about it in the mainstream press. But I bet not one in a thousand folks fully understands what it could mean for them. That's because buried in the law's more than 3,000 pages are little-known provisions that could have a huge impact on your life and mine. For example, one of the provisions gives the federal government greater ability to dip into the value of any 401k or pension benefits you draw over the next 10 years. One source says you may have to fork over 8.2% per year. Another provision gives the feds the authority to potentially control how much you spend on cancer or heart treatment and what types of drugs you can use. And this is just a snapshot. I call these provisions cap law. I'll explain why in a minute. Quite simply, CAPS law is a collection of seemingly small but dangerous new retirement provisions. Lawmakers have snuck some of them into several big multi-billion dollar bills over the past three years. Almost no one has read these bills fully, which is why most folks have no clue what's about to hit them. You see, parts of this law are contained in President Obama's Health Care Act. Other provisions were created by the $787 billion stimulus bill passed in 2009 and the $700 billion financial bailout pushed forward by President Bush in 2008. Put together, these provisions could change the retirement in ways we never planned for. Unfortunately, a major part of the damage has already been done. Many of these provisions are already law. Most people didn't challenge it because they simply didn't know it was hidden in thousands of pages of bureaucracy. House Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi summed up the attitude of Washington politicians when she told reporters, we have to pass the bill so you can find out what's in it. The feds began enforcing some of the provisions in CAPS law starting January 1, 2011. Other provisions go into effect in 2013 and 2014. For the next few minutes, I want to show you why it's not too late to protect yourself from some of the effects of this law. There are some specific steps you should take now, particularly if you are retired or close to retirement. But first, let me explain exactly what's happening. Since the beginning of the financial crisis in 2008, there has been a dangerous trend growing within our nation's capital. The people who are part of this trend are influential lawmakers, policy wonks, and some of the wealthiest citizens of our country, Republicans and Democrats alike. In short, these folks have a new agenda for how they think America's economy and the lives of its citizens, our lives, should be run. Put simply, over the past three years, these politicians have snuck in a number of devastating provisions in this big, multi-billion dollar bill. For example, one of the provisions is built into effect in 2013 allows the government to confiscate nearly $4 for 
out of every $100 of investment income many Americans will make, including capital gains, dividends, interest, annuities, royalties, or rent. Keep in mind, this fee is on top of all the taxes you already pay. Another provision the Fed's plan to enforce in the next 18 months could place a new tax on your health. If you undergo diabetes testing, joint replacement surgery, MRI and CT scans, or if you need pacemakers and stents, you could be subject to a new tax. The government plans to raise $2 billion a year for this provision. On their face, these provisions are supposed to help America get back on its feet. But as I'll show you in the next few minutes, I believe they will have the exact opposite effect, especially if you're retired or thinking of retiring in the next few years. I call this collection of provisions Capps Law, after a Democrat lawmaker named Lois Capps of California's 23rd Congressional District. Few people know that Congresswoman Capps voted for almost every single one of these new provisions. The irony is, in 2006, Capitol Hill staffers voted her the nicest member of Congress. She is also a member of a congressional group that describes themselves as moderate and pro-growth. She supports free trade, energy independence, and women's rights. In other words, to most people, Caps does not seem to be part of the radical right or the radical left. But the truth is, every one of these new provisions Representative Caps voted for could have a shocking impact on your retirement. Some of these provisions are already in effect. Others could impact you within the next 18 months. If you don't act now, a small group of politicians in Washington will almost certainly slash your standard of living before you even know what's happening. Just take a look at what I call CAPS Provision 5I. You may recall in February 2009, Congress passed the stimulus bill. It cost American taxpayers nearly $800 billion. The money was given to various city, state, and federal government projects, such as $1.5 million to the city of Shreveport, Louisiana, to spruce up a housing complex, even as they consider tearing it down and thousands of dollars to the National Park Service to upgrade Marion Park, a popular dog destination in Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. My point is, while Congress made a show of doling out billions of dollars in taxpayer funds to supposedly stimulate the economy, something else was going on that almost no one paid attention to at the time. Quite simply, Congresswoman Lois Capps and 304 of her colleagues, 301 Democrats and three Republicans, created what I call CAPS Provision 5I. In short, this provision gives an arm of the federal government, known as the Federal Reserve, greater ability to dip into the value of your 401k or pension funds over the next 10 years. How much can the Federal Reserve legally take? The provision doesn't give an exact number, which I think is frightening. A Wells Fargo economic forecast puts the number at 3.4% in 2012. But according to Dr. Sanford Pena, who has written for Barron's and the Financial Times, it could be as much as 8.2%. I personally think the conservative estimate is more likely. So let's say you have $100,000 in your